So we're back at it again. I'm supposed to introduce this. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was supposed to introduce it, but I don't know. I just like to talk. Hello, everybody. So we're back with another video. <laughs> Last video, we talked about how we met. Today's video is going to be about friends before relationships. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're friends before I even asked her out. Like she said, we we met, we talked, we we hung out, and then I asked her out, and we're still dating now. But I think like friendship before you even get in a relationship is very important because that lets you know that you can still remain friends even though you're in a more serious relationship and you can, you can uh, continue to do like the fun things that you did as friends because like companionship is it's like it's a lifelong friendship companionship is a lifelong friendship with some other benefits <laughs> no but um <laughs> but yeah so how, how that all happened, you know, how I wanted to do with her, learning from like past mistakes is I'd rather just talk and just and hang out without doing all the extra activities to get to know what's, what's inside rather than what's inside the drawers. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the common mistakes most people made they get inside the underwear first and then they somehow try to get to know the person and that's totally backwards you need to know what's inside the head and what's inside their heart <laughs> you know before you even think about getting to anything because <laughs> the person you have sex with could be sex crazed or or whatever and be stalking you outside your window and i don't know if it's gonna go that far but you know, you never know who you sleeping with. It could be a psycho. But you and yo, you know, you in heat and all that, and you want to hurry and get some, you may be making a mistake in your life. So, you want to elaborate on that? And I also want to add um, that during our friendship period, before we even got together, I never even, it wasn't even my intention to get with him, you know. Um, he was just a friend. I never thought we was gonna get together. And I know at the time, he was going through a lot. And I'm not gonna say I felt his pain because I never been married before, but I have been hurt and cheated on so at that time, I just wanted to be there for him because I know when I felt like that, I never had nobody to talk to or to even, you know, a shoulder to cry on. So the time he was going through that, me as a good person, you know, I wanted to be there for him. As a good person. Well, not as a good person, but I just felt like you needed somebody there for you, and you probably really didn't have nobody to talk to. I don't know. I didn't. Know, I didn't know you like that really back then, but I know the experience I went through, and when I didn't have nobody there for me, you know, all I did was cry, 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 cry. I didn't have nobody to talk to, or even to uh, have a, cry, a shirt to cry on. So. You know, I wanted to be there for you. And like on another note, a lot of the things that is gonna be discussed from here on out, what I think I said in the previous video is really hard to talk about. And like some things going on just in life in general, it's hard to get over those humps if you don't talk about it. So like, even though we're sitting here having a conversation, things might come up that we did have on our chest that might come out and just lift the weight off your shoulders. So 
we encourage you, whoever's watching this, if there is something that's bothering you, it's best to talk to somebody about it. Now, nobody crazy that's going to give you crazy advice. Like, yeah, that's going to do this. That's going to do that. No. Or, yeah. sorry to cut you off. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Talk to someone that got a sound mind and got some sense that's going to help you get through whatever it is you're going through. Or you can just watch our videos. Go to somebody you can trust to talk to. Just don't go to anybody because I know it happened to me when we were just friends. And, you know, I didn't even think about dating him. We were just friends. People were in his ear telling him that I was a gold digger. And, you know, at that, I have two boys and I've been raising my kids by myself. Well, now he helps me, but, you know, I've been through a lot and I've, I really don't care about money, but you know, I do still get it from my kids. But at the time back then, people was telling him that I was a gold digger. I just wanted him for, for his money. But honestly, you know, I just wanted to be a friend and be there for him. All right, so that, that wraps up today's session. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. So Larry and Yashay signing out. That.